be great, baby. It's going to be great. Our officials for tonight's matchup, the referee, Alonza Claiborne, the umpire, Ed Gingerella, head linesman. Oh, Jartavius Martin with a 71-yard touchdown run for the Trojans. Number 12, Jacaden Mark takes the handoff, tackled by number 88, Blake Billich. Number one, Larry McGee with the direct snap. Tackled by number 58, Elijah. Lagarde with the handoff. Harvey takes the hand. Jacaden Mark takes the handoff. Let the defense hear you now. Octavius Harvey takes the handoff, tackled by 74, Connor Moran. Peterson's pass completed to Stagall. 
tackled by Huff. Peterson pass into the flag on the play. Get on your feet and scream at fourth down. up the middle tackled by number six Octavius Harvey okay who's playing left tackle tell, 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 tell. I have left tackle I'm right. playing left guard you're playing left tackle no, 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 no. right tackle left guard I'd like to invite everybody to stick around for our halftime performance. Chapman takes the handoff. Let's go! 
Runs it up the middle. Third quarter. The score is tied at seven. Peterson takes it up the middle. Octavius Martin takes it around the right side. Caden <laughs> Martin takes the handoff, goes around the left side for a 17 yard touchdown for the Trojans. Gall takes the hand. Martin. Take the time, Take the time. Go ahead, the hand Goes in for the touchdown. Rock and Intercepted by 14, Jaden Clements. Mark takes the hand. 
takes the handoff, goes up the middle for a Trojan touchdown. <laughs> and the Trojans will stop short. Two point conversion, no good. With 3.02 left in the ball game, it's your Rocket Charles 21, the Trojan 19. Peterson takes it up the middle. First down, Rocket Charles! Peterson kneels it. That's the ball game, folks. Final score, your Rocket Charles 21. The Trojans from West Mary at 19. We'd like to thank everybody for coming out. We ask everybody to drive home safely. All you Rocket Shaw fans out there, next game next week, Friday night, we're going to Long Beach. 7 o'clock kickoff. Come on out and support your Rocket Shaws. Good night, everybody. It went for y'all, bro. How nerve wracking was it being just kind of being in this situation and uh, trying to pull it out towards the end? Man, it was just all of our hard work during the summer and stuff. It just kind of paid off for us and just got to keep working. Now, what, what do you think was maybe just kind of the difference for y'all tonight? Uh, obviously, it was y'all had a big, big uh, block kick and uh, the, the two point conversion too at the end that y'all that y'all stopped. We've been working on that stuff a lot in practice, and um, you know, we just we've been really working on coming in clutch, and I think that just came through today. Everybody came through. And uh, it looked like you're playing a few different positions out there—a little bit of receiver, a little bit of running back. What uh, what do you just kind of try to bring to the field? Where y'all just seem like you bring some versatility. Yeah, we got um, we got three we got three running backs, so we'll switch. I'll switch between receiver, the receiver running back. And um, the T. So we got like we got three running backs. So we have a lot of versatility and like, who can play what positions. Uh, it seems like y'all a pretty young group. I mean, you said you're a sophomore. I think y'all quarterback a freshman. So uh, how have y'all just kind of been holding things together and just kind of keeping y'all composure through you know games like that? Um, you know, uh, we just been working. Like I said, we've been working the off season a lot. You know, we kind of like we've been waiting for this moment, and you know, we're just trying to make the best of our years in high school. So we're just trying to make it count now. What, uh, what was it like, you know, just kind of down the, the last couple minutes trying to hold it together? Oh, man. It was it was so fun just being out there with everybody. I mean, we love each other, and we're going we're gonna to fight for each other, and it was just so much fun. Yeah. Now, your defense came up with a bunch of big stops today, uh, especially the last uh, two-point conversion. What did you just kind of see on that play, and uh, how how'd you, how'd you guys get the stop? I mean, we trusted each other, and when we trust, when we trust all 11 of us, we get things done. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm actually from Louisiana and we're not even, you know, kind of playing yet. So uh, what is, what's just kind of your thoughts on you guys having a chance to have a season? And were you ever worried that y'all wouldn't have a season? Oh, we just, we're, we're, we're taking every single second of it. Like, we're so grateful for it. And we, we just, we love it. We love being out here. And uh, I think this is your second game of the year, right? It is. Gotcha. So uh, I think 2-0 and so far. So uh, what's just kind of, you know, some of y'all goals for the season? And how do, you, how do you think y'all have done through these first couple of weeks? I, th I think we've done good. We can always do better, and we're going to get better every single week, and that's just it. We're going to get better. 
really gritty win for you guys. Uh, what was just kind of, you know, some of your takeaways from the game? How did you think you guys played? You know, I, I told them all week. I watched them a little bit. Uh, watched a little bit of film from them last year, and and just I know their reputation. They're a physical football team. Uh, we knew they were going to test us. It was probably going to come down to a fourth quarter kind of game. Uh, there are kids that play hard. There, there are kids that play hard. Uh, they're tough. Um, they're committed to running the football, uh, and, and we were looking for the challenge because, you know, like I said, they're a good football team. Their coaches understand how to call their offense. They, they're going to put you in tough situations. Uh, proud of the way we played. Proud of the way, you know, I, I think our kids stepped up and were physical like like we needed them to be. You know, it seemed like a lot of big swings in this game. Uh, big sure. plays kind of really on both sides. How would you just kind of go about trying to keep, you know, your guys' team together and just kind of keep them focused and composed? Well, we tell we tell them like earlier in the week. A team that runs the ball so much that it kind of limits your possessions is more closer to like an NFL game where you're kind of limited possessions. So, small plays are going to be kind of exasperated. Or, you know, big plays are going to be really exasperated because you might not get the ball back until like six, eight minutes later. So, we just get them ready mentally. You know, you got to deal with those things. You know, we talked to them all week about you know there's urgency but no panic. Uh, you got to flush the uh, flush the bad plays, and we tell them all the time that uh, E plus E plus. Uh, uh, E plus R equals O, which is uh, the event plus their response equals the outcome. That's something we've talked about all year and just how they respond to both good things happening and bad things happening. So, and just keeping an even kill. You know, what were those last uh, couple minutes like, I guess, for you personally? I mean, uh, you had the interception and then the, had, to, had to get the two point stop there right at the end. So, sure. what, how nerve wracking just with those last couple few minutes? Um, it, it is. It's, uh, you know, but, but this is the game you want to play. You want to play these games early. So, when you do, you know, hopefully, you know, good Lord willing, we get an opportunity to play in the playoffs. You're used to playing in this kind of atmosphere. And this really had a playoff game type atmosphere. So, you know, it just helps prepare us for, you know, those big district games down the road. And, and like I said, hopefully in the playoffs. You know, I guess this last thing, what do you, I know you guys are off to a 2 0 start, so what do you just kind of want to see from the team you know, going forward? Uh, every Sunday we come in, we're 0 0. Doesn't matter what we did on Friday night, when we come in to watch film on Sunday and lift and do those things, we're 0 0. So it, that's just kind of been our mantra around here for a real long time, and that's just how we approach it.